In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson EcoTank ET2800 and actually this will work with any other EcoTanks that are looking just like this one to your smartphone. Could be an iPhone like mine, but it works the same exact way with an Android smartphone. So let's get started. So on the control panel of your Epson printer, you should see the main menu. If you don't see the main menu, simply press the home button and you'll get there. Then use the arrows over here to navigate until you see Wi-Fi setup. Press the OK button. Then we have two different options. The first one is Wi-Fi and the second one is Wi-Fi Direct. Wi-Fi Direct means that you will connect your smartphone to your printer directly. The printer will have its own Wi-Fi network that you need to connect with your phone. So you do not need a home Wi-Fi network or you do not need any sort of router to do the Wi-Fi direct option. I still prefer doing the, wi the regular Wi-Fi setup. This way your printer will get connected to your home internet and any devices you have in your home, smartphone, iPad, computers, Mac, PC, will be able to print on this printer. So select Wi-Fi recommended and press the OK button then press OK, then press OK once more. It will search for all the Wi-Fi networks around you. Just give it a few seconds. So here, so here they are and you can use the top and down arrow to navigate and select your home or office network. In my case it's this one press OK once it's selected and you'll have to type the password. I know the screen is quite small and to navigate is a bit uncomfortable but, but this is the way we need to do it. So if you want to switch between uh, capital letters and numbers you just have to select this small icon here press OK and it will switch to capital letters. If you press OK once more, you'll get, you'll get your numbers and also some symbols in if your password contain one of these. Once you type your password, go down and select the OK icon and press OK on the control panel. Next step over here, they simply ask you participate in the future design of Epson products, blah, blah, blah. So if you do not want to participate to this program, simply press this icon over here and you will be back in the main menu. To know that your printer is connected to your home Wi-Fi, you see over here there is a Wi-Fi symbol. Then on your smartphone you need to download the Epson Smart Panel on the App Store or Google Play Store. So just type Epson Smart Panel, go ahead and download it. Then launch the app. Press Agree press OK, press Next, here press Allow once, press Next, press Allow. And from this list you should see your Epson printer, you just need to select it by pressing on it and you'll get this blue check mark and connection is complete, press OK. And here this is just a personal preference, they'll ask you which kind of screen do you want to use. In my opinion this one is a lot easier to navigate, so I'll select use tiles. Then press OK. And we are now on the main menu of the Epson app. On top over here you will always see the ink levels. So you can tap and see and have a better idea how much is left and refill if you need it. If you need to buy more ink bottles, I'll leave links uh, in the description if you want to get them from Amazon. And at the same time, you're supporting my channel. So I will go back and let me show you how to print using your phone. So I'll go ahead and press the print purple button here once and they will ask uh, if you want to print a picture or a document. I'll press document because this is what I will do next. And now it's time to select this document from your phone. So this is the document I want to print. Before doing anything, I suggest you press on the top right corner over there, where it says letter 8.5 by 11, and a menu should appear. 
it's very important to confirm these settings before printing so make sure this is the name of your printer if your document has multiple pages and you just want one of them to get printed then select printing range here and select the exact page you want to print in my case it's just one page so i don't have to select anything make sure that the paper size is the correct one make sure that the media type is also the correct one because if you're trying to print on glossy paper but plain paper is selected here your ink will smear it won't be nice and i already tested it it will definitely create a mess so make sure the media type is the correct one just check the other settings over here so the layout the print quality make sure everything is okay and once you're done make sure you have some paper inserted and press the start button you can also extend this black paper tray over here because this is where the paper will go okay perfect so here is the document we just printed it looks perfect so once you're done on the app you can simply press the home button over here to go back to the main menu press ok and you'll get back to the screen now let me show you how to scan so there's the scan green button here press it once take the paper or photo or artwork you want to scan open the scan lid and over here you may see on the right side a small arrow pointing to this corner this is very important you're going to take your document place it facing down with the top part of the document on the right side and make sure that the corner of your document is aligned with the corner of the scanner so just push it to the extremity like this where the arrow is then close the lid take back your smartphone and make sure that these settings are the one that you want so the document size is the correct one do you want a scan to be in color or in black and white and one thing that is important here is the resolution tap on it and you'll have to choose between different resolutions if you're only scanning a document like the one i have put here where there's no image and details are not that important select 200 dpi if you're scanning a picture an artwork a painting i don't know what but something where you really want to have sharp details then select high 600 dpi obviously the scan will take a lot more time if you select 600 dpi compared to 200 but this will give you the best results in my case i'll just put it back to 200 then you have remove background in my case i do not want to remove the background but if you're scanning a picture let's say with some blank space around it and you simply want to scan the picture itself you can select bla uh, remove background and the printer will actually simply remove what's around your subject and keep only the middle then we have automatic rotation this is up to you to select it or not i place the document the right way so i won't need to rotate it and finally image format over here if you tap you have to select in which kind of uh, format you want the file to be saved in my case this is a text document mostly so i'll select pdf but obviously if you're scanning pictures jpeg is the best format for this purpose i'll go back and to start simply press the big uh, green smart, uh, start button and now we'll just have to wait once the scan is done you're gonna see uh, on your smartphone screen this what the scan looked like and from here you can uh, delete it if you're not satisfied with the results you can actually crop it by selecting this icon over here you can rotate it you see simply by pressing over here it rotates the scan and we have three dots if you click on these three dots you'll have more options but most people will never use these if your document has multiple pages let's say you're trying to scan a document with five pages you just have to remove this scan put the next page and click on this plus button over here this will uh, scan the second page and you can simply do it like this until you're done scanning the whole document every pages will appear down here one two three four five once you're done press the next button it will ask you to give this scan a file name so click on this name over here this is the default name erase it and type your name so let me say test scan epson printer then press done press save 
and it will ask you uh, to select where on your smartphone in which folder you want this to be saved. In my case, this is automatically under the downloads and this is where I want it to go. But if you don't want it to go here, simply press back and select another folder. I'll press save. And you'll get this confirmation message the file is saved go back to the apps home screen yes thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video